Well, hello and welcome to this week's Anglin News KZN Fishing Report. Guys, last week my reports were 100% accurate. Am I going to be right this week? Well, I spoke to my reporters and I'm going to let you know at the end of the show what their predictions are for this weekend's fishing. But what we can tell you is that this week's reports were absolutely fantastic guys we have seen garrick we've seen brusher there has been sardines there has been grunter stumpies trout bass you name it kzn has had it now we're going to get into all of this in this week's show as we usually do with a few images of what was coming out this week and so right now i am broadcasting from the durban harbor and the durban harbor over this past week has seen an array of species we have talked we have seen the kingfish come on the bite with the spitting tackle we are seeing grunter from small to large we are seeing double up on the cob yeah, it's been an absolutely fantastic time at the durban harbor so good that i came down and carried my rods and i am gonna have a fish straight after this report now let's start off with this week's kzn's full report and at the end i'm going to tell you about our reporters predictions for this weekend because it is all shaping up to be rather spectacular on the kzn coastline so guys let's start off down the south coast where it has been a bronze bream fest of note now amongst that bronze bream there has been some black bream as well these are from all the points starting off from port edward moving down to ramsgate margate uvongo shelley beach and running off at port chips and guys there's been bronze bream all over the place there has been the odd garrick coming out on live bait a few on lures as well but apart from that nothing else really to brag about except for the brusher brusher has been on the bite as well now this is going to be the case throughout the whole of the south coast there has been a good amount of brusher some great catches of that there has been the odd inedible starting to make their appearance down in the port edward area but apart from that the flavor of the week has been the bream your preferred baits for this past week has been chocker and prawn bait and that seems to be the case for this coming week as well there has been the few days of windy conditions so that did uh, prevent the anglers from going out and there's been a spotting of sardines out at chili beach at the tidal pool area so you know the fishing hasn't been all that bad there has been some garrick in between that sardines as i mentioned just now but apart from that majority of the catches has been the bronze bream guys for this weekend the sea is coming through with a two meter swell but there's a lot of gaps in between so it's definitely going to be fishable and if you are finding that weather being a bit windy although the skies are going to be clear like right now uh go and fish those rocky points that is what the suggestions are for the lower south coast good day Vinesh. so we're down here it's uh kelly's gully as it's locally known just on the bottom section here of manaba beach i think things are looking pretty good at the moment we've had some fairly big seas the last few days but it seems to have settled quite nicely the water does look a little bit rough, unfortunately still not completely flat, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be good fishing. So I do think that, you know, just looking around here, the gullies are looking really good. The shallower reefs definitely are producing some bream and black bream at the moment. So it should be some good fishing for the upcoming weekend. Now moving down to Scottborough, guys, once again, it's scratching species. Carantine, bronze bream, uh, blacktail, it's all your rock species that's been on the bite over the last couple of weeks at uh, Scottborough. However, on your offshore side, the guys are getting a good amount of snook and bottom fish. Now moving down to Warner Beach. Warner Beach has seen a fair amount of Garrick this week. And the good thing is there were, there were a few catches reported on it being on a whole sardine. Now, I love that because my first Garrick was on a whole sardine. When everyone was putting out liveies, I put out a whole sardine. So when guys ask me, can you catch a Garrick on a sardine? 100% yes, I've got the photos to prove it. So guys, apart from that Garrick, Russia is going absolutely crazy right now. On the right day, Gary has told me that you can throw a bait out and that bait will land on a brush's head so brush is absolutely fantastic there has been a good amount of stumpies as well as the odd spotting of sardines and in between that sardines although they are moving quite fast the guys were getting some garrick in between that as for the shad all gone zero reports of shad in fact the whole of the south coast there is no shad but there is a lot of other species to catch now moving on to durban that's where things start cooking again down the south coast like we said no shad but off durban there has been a good amount of nice size shad so there hasn't been a lot 
right but those shed that are coming out are those big ones as you know we are approaching the close season at the end of this month so we are bound to see some of those bigger shed coming out and along with that shed guys they are brusher there's grunter there are stumpies so durban has been fishing well oh yes and of course the highlight how can i forget the highlight has been garrick guys blue lagoon has seen a lot of garrick over this past week so that's been fished really well as for the offshore side well we are starting to see some good activity on the snook snook up to nine kilos being reported and there's still no signs of um kuta very few tuna being reported but that bottom fishing is still absolutely on fire at the moment guys that killback and darker salmon is certainly on the bite on those good days when the guys can go out they are certainly being rewarded as for the durban harbor now this is why i'm broadcasting from here as i mentioned earlier they are so many species coming out guys i've got a report of one of my buddies on his first cast just outside north pier getting a double up on those snapper salmon they are granted ranging from one kilos all the way up to seven kilos the kingfish are on the bite and that's on spinning tackle so that's quite good at the moment as for your springer there has been one or two reports but guys there's also those garrick that are sitting right outside the harbor entrance and of course on the nsri now let's move on to the north coast of kzn so guys before we move on to the north coast of kzn it is still relatively early days for that inedible action i mean we are just dawning upon summer we just started spring actually but there has been some diamonds down at the amkumas area there's diamonds down at warner beach as well as durban the odd gray shark is not fireworks but there has been reports of them in fact of um the warner beach area we've got reports of a couple of them being around the 30 kilo mark so if you can't wait for that inedible action you are not going to be disappointed now let's kick off the north coast so guys on the north coast it has been quite productive starting off from virginia beach the guys are having a great time out there quite a few species coming out there's been some nice size shad there's been the garrick as well as stumpies and grunter so virginia moving upwards starting to really really look good off from schlanger i've got i've seen some good reports of the brusher and stumpies that's been on the bite the entire week moving further up to your bolito and surrounding areas jesse has reported although the weather conditions has not been the most favorable due to it being that windy season the fishing has been really good anglers that have been struggling have really been rewarded over this past week guys there has been garrick there's been shared some nice size shared that's been coming out the bronze bream on the bite the stumpies are on the bite and on your offshore side well there has been the odd tuna definitely a lot of snook i mean jesse has emphasized the amount of snook that's been on the bite and that's off shaka's high rock as well as on your offshore side guys apart from that snook your bottom fishing is absolutely fantastic we are talking a lot of keelback and a lot of daga salmon now staying in the north coast area in tindy manor there's been a lot of reports of stampies as well as some big pompano in blightdale good kingfish action guys the king is on the bite on the spinning tackle the guys that are using the drop shot stuff are really being rewarded with some good fun on those kingies one being reported of 6.2 kilos as for zunquazi bream and blacktail that's what the reports were throughout the entire week and together well guys it is dead the reports came through it is literally dead no reports of there and of in Tanzini, well pretty much no action as well from nick i mean i'm not sure what's going on in those areas but it hasn't been the greatest times i hate to disappoint you about this but it is what it is and we give you good honest reports i mean that's what we're about over here if the fish is good we tell you it's good if it's bad well it is what it is so guys moving up to richards bay now this is where things start picking up again we are talking about a lot of garrick and kingfish in the harbor the rock and surf guys are getting the odd cob definitely garrick on the bite as well as for the offshore side well we've got reports of tuna queenfish snook as well as that garrick so richards bay doing quite well going up to st lucia and cape vital well it's been pretty quiet on that end the town has been quiet so not too much reports coming out i spoke to my friend boise him and his buddies have been getting a few cob in the evenings and the odd honeycomb which is what i love to hear guys st lucia for honeycomb is absolutely fantastic there again that was the place i got my first honeycomb and it was a beautiful experience it's a beautiful beach to land a flatty of that size so guys that rounds off our saltwater report now like i said bear with me i'm going to give you our reporters predictions of this weekend of the entire coastline but before we do let's get into the freshwater guys your freshwater side in case 
is it in the bass no matter which dam you go to it is a great time at the moment and these bass are biting on top water they are biting on your spinner baits on your soft plastics so bass right now is absolutely fantastic at the moment now on your carp side well that has been consistent over this last couple of weeks carp has been quite good they are waiting for your boilies so get out there as for the trout well river season is officially open as of last week and the guys are having a great time with those rods bending however on your still water side for some reason that is gone relatively quiet over this past week not many reports and i couldn't get my detailed reports because my man yan is out catching tiger fish and while we're talking about yan hey yan happy birthday to you guys that yan is our freshwater correspondent who we'll have back on the show next week now for our forecast and predictions guys the guys it really is just a prediction we are giving you the forecast from our reporters these are the experts in their area these guys run tackle stores in fact some of them got more hours on the water than david jones himself so let us know during the course of the week on the comment section how you felt about this week's fishing predictions or forecast guys down the south coast we are it is suggested to go and fish those rocky points there are the brush and bronze bream around carry the chaka baits carry your prawn baits because that's the flavor of the week right now if you are closer to Durban well there has been Garrick throughout the week and the guys are saying go for the Garrick but 100% go and target that brush they are still around as for the north coast as we said guys that were struggling have been rewarded the weather is looking really favorable fi for fishing this weekend so when you're heading up to the north coast this is where there's still some shed activity as well as that garrick and a, a pretty much a mixed bag of rock species so definitely worth the trip up there your areas from belito heading up to richards bay i wouldn't concentrate too much on the heavier stuff there hasn't been much reports of any inedibles it's just more on your edible side of fishing and on your lighter edible side so target those kind of species as for richards bay and st lucia well unless you're fishing at night then you're going to get a decent fish with that cob or that honeycomb so then you're going to carry some heavy tackle but apart from that some medium to light tackle in the richards bay harbor or the st lucia river mouth is going to be a great time to go and fish for that edible action as for the fresh water no matter what species you are getting i know you're going to comment below with your catches so guys please send us those reports and when you are out there always remember keep that fishing area tidy respect your bag limits and fish for the future